Okay. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna unpause and carry on playing. Sorry about the delay, my mama called in. And then I took that opportunity to make the dinner when she was here, so she was on the phone to my brother for a long time, so I was able to like get the cooking started then. I made a lovely tikka masala, and thankfully she was able to help me polish off the whole thing. She was able to eat a bit, and because I wasn't using tomatoes with it or cooking it for as long, uh, then I didn't have as much sauce to dispose of. I'm sure this is fascinating, by the way. but. I can assure you it was delicious. So here we are in this room, and hey, that's kind of weird. This eagle's following us about, and in the dark, we can see jewels. And I don't recall which jewel it is that I'm going to need to use for the tiger. It's one of these, and I think it's the yellow. This is refusing to budge anyway. So you kind of have to raise it back to here, and it's better just to let it get a view if you're down here until it locks into position. It doesn't seem to want to lock into the position that time, but... Ah. Uh, I messed up there. The camera angle changed in a bad way. So basically I want to be able to jump straight up and grab... And I'm failing each time. Could you please? Excellent. So we'll lock it in the position there and you kind of trick its sight. And there we go, we got the yellow gemstone. And I think it's the red gemstone I need to use. But I'm going to find out fairly quickly here. Might have a few undead to take care of, but we'll see. I think it's just regular undead, if so. Oh, shitballs! That was what I was worried about. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Hi, Andy. I'm not going back there, because that one down there could turn into a crimson head any second. And I definitely want to avoid crimson heads. So what was it? There is an inscription here. Tago... Oh, so I didn't need the red. Whereas in the original game it's a red eye and a blue eye, but they've changed it in this here. And hey! We got ourselves an ammo disc. I don't really need an ammo disc right now. I can tell you that much. What I need even less is crimson heads and hunters. Thankfully they seem to be staying dead down there. Hold on two seconds, I'm getting cold here. I'm just going to put the game on pause. Hello? Hi.
Okay, did everybody hear that whole conversation? Huh, I'm a bit worried about that. Okay, did everybody hear that whole conversation? Huh, I'm a bit worried about that. Okay, well, uh, strange. Um, whoops. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I don't know. Either way, uh, yeah, um, she kind of left her handbag here. That was kind of my fault. Whoops, I didn't mean to, but I'm kind of OCD with setting stuff to the side and, well. Hey, we're done with the helmet key. So, this is an interesting looking place and we got ourselves a wee diary. It's something handwritten, it's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting, not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. Okay. Let's keep our eyes peeled for a painting of a mansion. This is a lovely room anyway. Ah, the ink ribbon. Yeah, we're not taking that. Ah, uh, one caution after getting boffed by the hunter. That's not too surprising. Those hunters sure are assholes. Off of his head. Well, we can certainly use this. And we can certainly use that. Okay, we got ourselves a weird box. Let's have a look at the box, shall we? So, it's got room for a jam. Strange. Maybe this is the jam? Hey, that's paid dividends. I guess I was right to take both of those things. So this is one of these puzzles, just to let you know. I fucking hate these kinds of puzzles. I'm not very good with them whatsoever. Just to clarify that. It's something stupid like this, isn't it? Well, maybe there's somebody stupid as me. So perhaps it's like that. I kind of think it would fit like that, but apparently not. Oh yeah, it's going to be the shape of the actual crest. So that should be more what I'm paying attention to. I'm pretty sure that's not the top of the crest, that's the bottom. So I, there we go. Need to somehow position this better. Because this absolutely has to fit into here. Oops, I think that was it that was actually going in there. 
There we go. Oh, no, no, you fucking sit right there, dickhead. Okay. You're the center, boy. -o. This is really frustrating, I'd like to point out. Like it has to be that way around. It's just not wanting to go in currently. Definitely not it. <laughs> yeah, this puzzle's a fucking pain in the hole. It's like you can definitely tell what you're supposed to be doing, it's just not letting you do it sometimes. I think that sh oh, that was it. Right. You, you absolute dick. Go in. Thank you. Not you, you wee shit. Hooray! And we got a brooch inside it. Oh, that's weird. It's not unusual. Oh, it changed into a key. The emblem key. And it's got the Spencer emblem on it, which is as old as Raccoon City itself, allegedly. So there we go. Wasn't that some fun menuing? Yeah, um, the one thing I've often wondered, like, I really would love to have a replica of the Spencer Mansion, like, for me to live in. Like, if I was absurdly rich, like a multi-millionaire, you know, A, I, well, if I was a multi-millionaire enough to be able to, like, look after my family and then also give a substantial amount to charity, I would reduce from the charity the amount to be able to recreate myself the Spencer Mansion to live in. I think I'd go from the classic mansion rather than this one. And the only problem is the complete lack of toilets throughout the building. There are like a total lack of toilets. That, and I would also make sure that you didn't need, like, multiple different, like, keys to access different rooms. Her boobs are, like, hypnotic, man. Sorry. Immaturity. But they are kind of... Boing, boing. Ha. Huh. Now, do I take the lower route? Because that's probably safest. I'll uh, risk hunters. Well, I could go across the graveyard, which should be safe. I don't think there's any hunters here. And this game gives you this shortcut for a reason. That's just, like, moths. That's not killer moths. The Resident Evil 2 remake removed both spiders and the giant moth. There's some useless trivia for you. Giant moth nobody cares about. Strangely though Silent Hill also had a giant moth. I guess it was like moth season then. Yeah, fuck that key. So. Too dark to see anything. Well, turn on the light then, Jill. Hooray. What have we got here? It's a metal object. Got ourselves a battery pack too. And some biology related books. That doesn't look 
like the drawers have been ransacked or anything. So we got ourselves an object. But it's not a complete object by the looks of things. No, and Trace will be having to come back for that one. Spoilers. I'm gonna walk back in here because I may as well dump off a few things as well as pick up a few more. And the hunter should be dead here. In fact, I promised you, hunters, and aside from those two that jumped through the windows rather rudely, I don't think I actually fought any in my entire time in here. So sorry about that. But we're going to be seeing hunters elsewhere, unfortunately for me. I don't think I'll be needing that ammo disc. It seems unlikely. However, I am going to take this square crank on this battery. Because I'm going to need that where I'm going. I should probably take more Haiti items with me. But I'm also a renegade. A bit of a maverick, some would say. I'm a little overpowered. Do I really need all that? We'll see. But yeah, the puzzle design's always been consistently ridiculous in Resident Evil, aren't they? Uh, like, with the remake of Resident Evil 2, the fact that it was much more pronounced that it was an X museum, I don't think. I think there was only a fleeting reference to that there in the original game. But that, that almost explains the fact that there's a certain weirdness to the fact that it's like why would a police station be set up this way like that it wasn't intentionally made to be a police station but even still it's absurd like, there's no other way to put it I don't know how safe I am here so that there is like the emblem I just picked up except it's got a stone surrounding and I need two of those to get through the passageway that's underneath the stairs and you know what I think it's time to put down some dogs they've given me a lot of grief over the years Oh, I'm in a troublesome situation. She never uses the fucking knife, you know. This is going extremely poorly. Should have brought a heal. You should be dead. Well, I think he's definitely dead now, but I'm also near dead. So, whoops. I think it's safe to say I could have handled that situation much better. No herbs. Come on guys. It's a bit stingy. Yes, stingy bastards. No, but it's my fault. I shouldn't have used all the healing items around here earlier. I do have like three billion, not to exaggerate, um, uh, first aid sprays, but I don't know, like, I always feel like it's cheating when you use first aid sprays. Fucking snakes, by the way. Like, that's entirely random, that one. Same time, that could be my death now. Which would mean refighting the snake and everything. God damn it, I should have brought a Healy item. I wouldn't have thought to have brought a fucking blue herb, I tell you that much. Oh, 
these water effects are great. Ah, oh, shite. You know, when in doubt, I should probably at least go pop a blue. I don't know if poison can just drop you dead in this or if it just puts you down to the very lowest of your health. I can't remember how it works in this game so I'm thinking it's better just to oh well to go in here and get a cure. Come on, Mr. Jill. There's blue. And there is a mix. Oh, I'm on caution health now. I wasn't actually poisoned by that guy. That's strange. I could have swore it said poison. Poison? You bitch. And no more Haley items down there. Okay. Well, if I'm not poisoned, then I'm lucky. Still kind of annoyed though about actually getting hit by those stupid dogs. I stayed where I was when I first came into the room. That would have been the safe point, or a safe point rather. If I'd been there, um, they would have been like, when I got the first shot off, yeah, the other dogs would have been drawn to my attention, but uh, I kind of would have at least been in a bottleneck situation. The only thing is they're like running into the camera, so you don't really have a great line of sight yourself. So you could waste shots potentially that way. I suppose I've got many shots to waste at this stage, however. Hey you! Yep, he's definitely dead. Auto aim says so. So yeah. The battery's taken out of this. We got ourselves a nice battery. A battery. Well, I did get a bit of a tune, but at least all these cunt dogs are dead. And somebody's done a bit of cleanup. That's nice. So, the square shaped hole, we're going to use the crank again. Sign of the waterfall seems to have stopped. So yeah, that sluice gate allows us here to fill up the water. And now. Taking this lift down that we couldn't use before. With the waterfall off, this is going to open a new passage to us. Isn't that exciting? Well, don't know how that candle stayed lit. Unless somebody lit it recently. But hey, we seem to be in some sort of catacombs.
Oh, it's a hexagonal crank hole there. Strange. I guess we'll not be needing that square crank in that case. I don't like this. I might let grenades do the talking. Together, creepy. Large boulder blocks away, and with blood stains underneath them. I consider that a negative. I wonder in the history of the world, has anybody ever found a place? There's a giant boulder in it like that. Like, you know, outside of Indiana Jones-esque adventures, it's the elevator's power source. There's a round lid. And yeah, let's open it. We got ourselves a shaft. Bonk it gonk it gonk it gonk. Well, it's a key with symbols. Eh, it must be missing something. Why else wouldn't it turn on after all? Something shines here. A handgun magazine. Eh, I think we're... We're not that hard up that we're having the... Carrier handgun ammo. And that seems to be more handgun ammo, so... Yeah. I guess the game's trying to subtly tell us to be prepared, at least. Now, I just want to check, because I seem to mess up my microphone Is a lot. That Can you hear me? Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive! Stop! Are you with anybody, Jill? No, but why? The stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us off. Motherfucker. Enrico! Traitor? Who? Well. Per Enrico. Never done this is definitely a professional. Wait, he's holding something. That's a crank. Wouldn't you know it? It's a hexagonal crank. Yeah, Enrico shows up a wee bit in um Resident Evil Zero. I don't really recall enough about it. I just remember you bumping. Oh, fuck you! You cheeky bastard! Whoa. Well, that gave me a start. But yeah, he shows up in Resident Evil Zero. As do some of the other Bravo team people, but not that much. Kind of a missed opportunity in a way. That's in fact a very good way to describe Zero as a missed opportunity. Well, there's no other passages there. We got ourselves a hex crank. I guess we'll go use that hex crank and further explore these tunnels. That assassin shouldn't have got too far away, surely. Oh, is that a twofer? Now the good thing about hunters is, unlike crimson heads, they stay dead. Ok, 
very lucky with that acid round shot. I'm not going to pretend that was deliberate, that would be a fucking lie. Well. Got lots of ammo. I do technically have lots of heals, but I'm going to bring a blue herb with me. In fact, let's just make it a mixed herb to be safe, shall we? And you know... Feeling cocky enough to leave these behind. But instead, I'm going to take some incendiary rounds. This they have a bit more bite, I assume. And a hexagonal hole here. This is completely preposterous, I'd just like to point out. Again, maybe in a fun house? Oh, that was a Healy Herb. I could have picked up that Healy Herb. That would have been a good idea. Well, that's weird. And hey, a huge boulder. Well, this one doesn't have blood stains underneath it at least, right? Oh fuck. Indiana Jones. Sweet action roll coming out of jail though. Oh. And again. It is a sincere question. Has anyone ever seen a giant circular boulder? Ever. I've got quite a lot of shotgun shells. A Healy Herb I could probably have done with more so though. Well, let's see what's through here. And spider fans will be pleased. We got ourselves a, a giant spider. Who bizarrely is known as the Black Tiger. I don't know why. Oh my god. He went down fairly quickly. And unlike the original game, he's not given birth to thousands and thousands of tiny spiders instead. Oh wait, he has. Yeah, I'm not really thrilled about those. I'm pretty sure they can poison me. I can also step on them. But it's kind of random if you do or don't, you know. And it looks like he's given birth to thousands of them. But hey, I'm going to take out Survival Knife. And we're going to have to use that to cut our way out of here, I think. Oh. He's being a cheeky monkey. But hey. For free. Why you'd need a knife to do that? Well. Capcom logic. And hey, we got ourselves a map of the courtyard. In the door, am I? Oh. Hang on. Why am I not paying attention? Oh, there is no safe room here. Right, okay. Well, then I'm really glad I didn't load up and play herbs. In the original game, there was a safe room after the spider. In this game, they're like, fuck it, do it alone.
Huh. This hexagonal hole once again. And a boulder ahead of us. But hey, it looks like there should be a room in there to the left. And I probably don't want to tempt fate by getting squished by the boulder by trying to run back to there. So maybe we should give ourselves a little breathing space too. If there is a room in there to the left then this would be the safest way to go about. Why they forced me to use the crank three times in a row of course is not known. Oh shit balls. Well we're safe for now. This smells like a puzzle. But hey. The goddess statue smiles silently back at you. And there's a lever and a slot. Oh, it looks like we've got ourselves a statue. What else? Got ourselves a disc. And this seems to rotate. Well, I think you know what's coming next. We're gonna have to be rotating that statue around so that it's able to fit in that hole. But it's stuck to this wall. But keen eyed viewer would have noticed that. There is that slightly out of place cutaway bit of block. And well. use it to push it out. What a convoluted setup this is, but <laughs> Resident Evil friends. Let's get this statue rotated. Hmm, looks like it needs to rotate itself a little bit more. And unfortunately Jill stands still whilst the statue get or the thing rotates her. It's quite goofy. Yeah, okay. That looks like it's right now. Let's just keep pushing at that. Let's hope she doesn't stop for a spin. Just over a nudge. That should do it nicely. And inside we have a cylinder. Well, is this part of this? Strange. Yeah, that doesn't seem quite right. I guess we'll just keep turning this until the symbols match up. And we got ourselves four, two, three, one. Strange. I wonder what that could mean. I'm sure we're not going to find out. Maybe next playthrough. And hey, it's a another medical kit. Do I really need it? You can see they're really throwing those at me.
like to see it being a bit of a dead end over there. I guess we just have to assume that this cylinder is important. Maybe that's what fully powers up the elevator that's in the room. Oh, that is an awkward camera angle right there. I wish I could check away the knife right now. Sadly, there's no discarding items in Resident Evil 1. Mind you. You can just pop that there and. Yeah, we'll pop the knife up here. Not sure if I need much ammo. I'm not convinced I'm going to need the crank. We got plenty of ammo. Maybe just to be sure I'll take that harp though. Think positive. Now one uber herb should do me nicely, should it not? worried about the hunters of course like I said they shouldn't have resurrected but some may some additionals may have been popped in so strange about this boulder I guess this is the non rolly variety or somebody must have already been crushed under that one and I guess it would have been fairly recent maybe we'll get lucky and it was the assassin That camera angle is very fidgety. I'm supposed to run in there. So we've got the cylinder. And what was the code again? Well, it's fucked up. I think we can already tell that was 4231. Let's hope this works this time. That looks better. Hooray! Not even your shoes can be normal. Well, I was expecting to be ambushed by hunters there now. But apparently not. Let's get in the elevator. Jill. Barry? Thank God you're safe. Thank God he's safe. A noise I heard brought me down here, but didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. Hmm. Stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. I don't know. Let's see what kind of area we're in here anyway. Is an item box? We're not really hurting for items, are we? Some old supplies. Waste materials. And what's this? Some sort of industrial crusher? Garbage compactor. There's a switch. Press it. Nah. 
can't see any reason why I would want to do that. Still, it's very big of Barry to secure our escape route and send us on the dangerous path. That doesn't seem very Barry-esque of him. Barry-esque, of course, being a uh, term. So, through here we go, and... Holy shit, it's that creature. There's a lift. Not left a lever. I'm probably not. Let's pull this. Whatever that was. Like hooks on a wall somewhere? There's some herbs. That could be handy. Looks like I'm running towards a door this way. I'm gonna keep running towards that door. Oh yeah, especially if she's she showed up. And that seems to only be a time sensitive thing, so that's something to bear in mind. But yeah, she's pretty much invincible. We've already established that, so. There was someone's voice we heard on the radio that time saying, don't even waste your ammo. And I'm inclined to agree. Oh fuck, dividends here. I think I'll take some magnum rounds, sure. Now the handgun ammo I don't really give a fiddler's fuck about. Good thing is that creature doesn't seem to be following me. Okay, we got ourselves a box. A pushy box. Well, maybe you can push it off into that water or something. That would be very, uh... Very The Last Guardian or something to like have, or even Ike or push a box and then have to like use it as some sort of platform or later on or it would float in the water and you could climb about it. Anyway, doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Well, let's hope this creature's not going to get the jump on me. Our swipes hit like a ton of bricks. Well, we don't want to get hit by a ton of bricks. Bricks are sore. Oh, fuck this. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Maybe Barry can help. There's some sort of puzzle in there, but it's not safe while she's about. Barry! Barry! You motherfucker! There's no way back. Barry, why? You know, I refuse to believe that could have been Barry. That must be Wesker dressed up as Barry. Well. That's supposed to be some sort of cargo thing for, I guess, bringing rubbish around. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, don't worry, that wasn't really Barry. She did. That was pretty bad. Well, we might as well crush this box, take out our anger and frustration and betrayal by crushing stuff like Primal Man. And hey, is that a flamethrower? Maybe that would be good on that creature. 
Oh, it's a broken flamethrower. Well, fuck. Guess we'll not be equipping that, huh? The muzzle's broken and it can't be fired. If you shot the flamethrower, it would explode even more. You could throw the flamethrower at this here creature. Yeah, that would do. So, anyway, we got ourselves some Healy Herbs. Okay, some Magnum Ammo. That's not bad, right? Andy, you've sent me a link, but I'm not going to be able to see it just while I'm playing. Um, maybe you can let me know a general idea of what it is? Seems like we're really stuffed here though, but maybe that... Maybe those hooks we've seen on that wall... Is something good? But like, maybe those hooks in the wall, maybe that's... Maybe that's our way out of this hellhole. I just don't know where she's coming from yet. Oh. All the nope. Let's not pull out just yet. I don't know where exactly it is we need to go to get that lever. Let's try and lure her around. So at least I'm running away from her and not towards her. Oh, this is going to be tight, I can already tell. Oh wait, I've completely backtracked, have I? Oh, well I fucked that up. She's right by that lever. Oh, right, okay, I wonder how well that works. If that works, that would be brilliant. There'd be a lot of missing lines of dialogue, though, I'm pretty sure. I've seen uh, a guy that's really good at Resident Evil speedrunning called Bok the Soup Beat, like, is on the Summer Games Done Quick and all that business. But I've seen him uh, playing through uh, a, a mod um, of the original Resident Evil, um, and hey, we've unlocked that door. Super. Um, sorry, he was playing through a, a mod of the original Resident Evil where you played as Barry, but like it was literally just Chris's game except using Barry's sprite, and Jill was Rebecca. But like all the dialogues, the exact same. There's no like they don't use any of the speech whatsoever or anything. Fire has died out, but it shows signs of use. Huge collection of various kinds of dolls. They're all faded and worn. This looks ominous. Beat of dolls, used candles. This place is creepy. I should probably get out of here. Oh no, no, snakes. Someone's been watching too much Indiana Jones. And hey, what have we got here? Got a jewelry box. And it's just opening this time. And we've got a stone ring, so we could use that for that other bit of the emblem. And then we could probably open that door under the stairs in the mansion, wherever that may lead. A family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica administered virus type A. Plasmolizing of tissue. Uh, Plasmalizing, is that? Of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. So that's what happened to Jessica Treffer, the wife of the 
Mr. Trevor that we had found earlier. He, she had died. Lisa was administered virus type B, plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion positive but delayed fusion. Body modification observed constant results. Status continue protective observation. George action terminated. And then there's a journal left by someone. November 14th, 1967. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th. Fine mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was fake. Not my real mom. Same face but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. Attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom's sad when I meet her without face. November 17th. We're not sure of the year. From inside the scent, from inside box scent of mommy. Maybe tree mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. Well. I'm not so sure about the idea of her having had a fake mother. I've got more of a bad feeling that young Lisa Trevor might have pulled the face off her own mother. Slightly awkward. Well, she was living here. She must have some form of sentience left. God knows how long ago she wrote that diary entry, though. Maybe her mind's completely deteriorated. That must be her, the creature that is stalking us around. I can't believe I forgot the name of Mr. Trevor. Was it George Trevor? Hi, how's it going now? Oh, sorry. Hey. So, sorry, he was George Trevor, so they've confirmed that they killed him. I do know all this, by the way, but... Eh, it's more... More for telling the story, right? I definitely don't need that crank anytime soon, I doubt. What I am gonna need to do is get back to the mansion and get back quick. Because, well, for all we know, Lisa's going to follow me back here. Well, we could definitely do it without dealing with Lisa Trevor. But yeah, the Barry mod that I seen of the original Resident Evil was just... Like, aside from the novelty of the fact that you'd be getting to control Barry in the original Resident Evil, like, they hadn't really switched about much of the puzzles or anything like that there. It was just kind of pointless. There is a game where you get to play as Barry, which is Resident Evil Revelations 2. And whoa, oh yeah. Well he just poked up. That's nice. Um Revelations 2, you get to play as Barry as well as Claire Redfield, and then you get to play as one of Barry's daughters. As well as uh, another young girl that Spoilers, ends up having psychic powers because why not? It's not that bad. Kinda cheesy in places. Uh, definitely looks a bit lower budget than a lot of things, but it's an entertaining game anyway. 
It was definitely better than Revelations 1. I don't know if anybody here has ever played Resident Evil Revelations 1, but if you haven't played it, my advice would be don't play it. And if anything, maybe watch a long play of somebody play through it. It's got Chris and Jill in it again. There's another terrorist organization. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, yeah, there's like a magic island out on the sea that uh, that keeps flashing back to this here place called Terra Grigia, which is like a man-made city and all sorts of chinny nonsense like that. Um, but I don't really like any of the new characters they introduce and the monsters kind of all suck, and to put it politely. They kind of suck balls. So, no, honestly, it's like, okay, it's a man-made island, not a magical island, but it's like, it's supposed to be like a really, like, environmentally friendly island and all this here kind of stuff, where like, I think like one of the main buildings or something is like solar powered, like the entire building or something ridiculous like that. Not that that's not possible, but it's like this here big massive super glass tower. And either way, it ends up being completely destroyed. The entire island, in fact, gets completely destroyed. And a lot of it takes place on this really boring boat. And yeah, I just, I couldn't really warm to it. Revelations 2, it, it's got Barry. And Barry's still Barry. And to be honest, like I even played through that there shit uh, Resident Evil game on the Game Boy Color just because it had Barry. I'm not really near a item box, am I? Shit. Fuck. I could handle that better. Huh. That's a bit of a hike back to the item box over there. But I need to be in one otherwise. Ah, oh, shit. I fucked that up. Sorry about the backtracking. At least there's no enemies here. Sorry, Caleb. So, yeah. I apologize for calling it a magic island, but uh, yeah, Resident Evil Revelations. There's another really annoying mechanic about it that kind of reminds me of uh, Metroid Prime, where you're constantly having to scan for things, like you're constantly in the aim function and scanning things, either enemies dead bodies, enemies living bodies and stuff like that there. If you get to a certain point you like each time you like fill a certain research quota you like get additional items. Sometimes it's just healing herbs, sometimes it's ammo and stuff like that there. But basically you're wanting to be doing it constantly to also find clues that allow you to actually progress the story and stuff like that there. And it's just a bit annoying like you know kind of doing like a needle in a haystack search with this here slow moving scanning gun it's not really that riveting and they force you to do that before you even have any like combat in the game and this here kind of dorky flashback i mean i find it hard to recommend on the whole i'm sure some people would say that the second one's not much better but i certainly enjoyed it more so i can say that much there's that modisk. Let's throw that back there. Well. I think it's safe to say I'm armed to the deck. Let's go on through here. But there's something about the feel of uh, Revelations that makes me like it reminds me more so of the animated movies like the CG animated movies that they've done where it's sort of like okay you know you've got people that sound like Leon and Claire and all that kind of business and 
you know, it kind of looks like the cutscenes from the games and all that business, but the story's just never really that interesting. And the story of Revelations 1 really isn't that interesting. There's no real fascinating plot twists. I mean, it's definitely not as absurdly stupid as Resident Evil 5 or 6. But, where it's like on Phil Michael Bay, but uh, it's still like, it's still like lower tier Resident Evil in my opinion. Or maybe mid tier. No, I I don't even think it's as good as Nemesis, so I kind of like, I, I kind of put Nemesis in the middle of my Resident Evil ranking. Like Nemesis and Code Veronica kind of like sit side by side with each other. They're both quite difficult in their own way, and both of them are technically fine, but they lack a certain magic. And hey, that sounds good. Wonder what's on the other side of this door? Well, it definitely doesn't sound like it's Lisa Trevor again, does it? And yeah, we got octagonal slots. Let's fire these in. Two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it. Now, stand there all day. Well, what have we got here? No typewriter. Yeah, fuck that. We're not likely to need a typewriter, are we? Or should I safety save? What do you think? Safety save? Like, I mean, what could be the worst thing down here? Lisa Trevor? I mean, come on. Like, anybody believes those rumours. Sucker born every minute. Well, this doesn't look sinister at all. No items. Or so it would seem. Yeah. Oh, there's something here. Apparently. If the map's still flashing red, that means there's something to investigate. I'm not seeing much of anything. Weird. Well, if there's an item here, I can't see it. Oh yeah, everything about the remake, like graphically, is like massive improvement. Uh, voice acting's improved, not amazing, but still improved. Uh, although some would say lacking the charm of the original, Jill, but like this. You're alive. Given the fact that this is a GameCube game, remember from like 2001, 2002. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. <laughs> oh, shit. Barry. I kick you, though. Ah! Well, that's all flesh, yes. No time this is a good talk. situation. Jill, hand me my gun. Hell yeah. Thanks, Jill. Let's trust Barry in this instance. And there's something about four stones said there, so. <laughs> yep. Well, Barry's got the gun thing covered, all being well. Her diary mentioned these, so I think that's probably the best course of action. And hey, it's open. Well, it's open to get.
this family picture of the letter to Melissa. Day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by the men in white clothes made some of mummy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they gave me the shots mummy our uh, mummies can think straight, but mummy's shocked and sad because mummy's unable to think of you all the time. Mummy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and Daddy, what your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now, so that I can hold you, hold on to our wonderful memories of you and Daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer, we have to escape. Listen to me Lisa, our chance to escape is the next time when we go to that lab together. We'll both pretend that we're both unconscious and when that man in the white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. When we're all on the outside, let's look together for daddy. Together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. And unfortunately, Jessica did not make it. What about Barry? I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Well, I think we made the right decision in trusting Barry again. Still, I'd like an explanation from him as to why he could betray us like this. I suppose he covered her ass there. A large iron door that won't budge. And oh god, I've just remembered. I've forgotten the key items I need. Ah, oh, it's a wolf shaped emblem, so yeah, we're gonna need our emblems here. Oh, backtracking. This is what you definitely don't want to do when you're speedrunning, by the way. If you're trying to beat the game in under three hours, you definitely don't want to be doing this kind of business. Barry's still there. I guess he's not lying. That's nice. Good for you, Barry. Oh my god. I have to backtrack even further than I thought. No, oh wait, there's a typewriter and an item box up here. Why did I miss that the first time? I didn't miss it the first time. Duh. But I should have really remembered the two medals here. You know. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to save it. I have done the entire revisit of the mansion. And the catacombs and the giant spider and the giant snake there for as well. And we've just dealt with Lisa Trevor. Hopefully for good. But at the same time. I haven't saved, so I should probably do that for the next big section, shouldn't I? Or maybe explore a little bit of it first and then save? A lot can go wrong. Well, it's not like I'm going for a high rank this time or anything like that. That's the wolf. And you know that's an actual anatomically correct drawing of wolf from the gladiators there?
And rather absurdly, in the middle of a fountain, is an elevator. Use the elevator? Yeah, why not? Sign reads, will not open unless first class emergency. Well, that's good to know. There's an ink ribbon. I got plenty of ink. Hey, there's a zombie. Well, I was hoping to get a head pop there, but no such luck. That's more like it. Oh! You cheeky bastard. Tiny goes. Only five shots left. And there's an ammo disc. And desk covered in acid. And that's electronically locked. Or alternatively, locked electronically. Well, it doesn't look like this place got off any better virus wise. What kind of creep show have we wandered into though? Oh, it's some sort of first aid kit again. Don't really need a first aid kit right now. Okay. What do we got here? X ray photograph. That's an X ray. And then when the message board catches your attention, there's something scrolled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Okay, well I guess we want to use an electronic door. And there's a researcher's letter. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came back today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reason, just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have put not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole incident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You'll need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I've coded that password into an x-ray picture. I'm not going to pretend pretend that I'm gonna pronounce that word so let's see I know you and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble a ruin ruin genogram ruin genogram that's my best interpretation of that one uh, it's just one more thing and it is my last request I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form I beg of you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. So John and Ada, that's gonna be our little passwords. And there's an X-ray photograph on the wall. So Alex Beckett. Well, that seems reasonable. And this is 
Ed Fisher. Okay. Okay, here's another. A, B, E, F. So we need a C, D. Let's examine this. That's Gail Holland, so that's G, H. Clark, David. Isn't it lovely? It's not unusual. Pop that up there, and then finally, we'll throw Gail Holland's over here. And there's some sort of switch. Press it. Part of it's glowing red. Part of it's glowing red. Part of it's glowing red. And part of it's glowing red. Part's glowing red. So that's the colon. The esophagus. Liver, presumably. And the lungs. Hmm. Yep. Colon, esophagus, liver, and lungs. What a lovely little rhyme. Got to assume that makes cell as a password. We got a door here. It's locked. And I need to release some sort of locks on those levers. Looks like this is a bust for the time being. Well, goddamn zombies. Zombies, thankfully, are quite allergic to grenades. Oh! He shook it off, though. <laughs> now it's unexpected. Hey, fuck people. Don't think so. Collected operating theater. Oh, the locked door. Oh, horror are you keys needed there? Yep. I'm gonna need some sort of key by the looks of things. And hey, I noticed that sparkling away there. Delicious magnum rounds. Part of corpse lies on the operating table. Well, that's great. V Act, researcher's note. There's no evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated uh, into a humanoid creature. We call them V Acts. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of the researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric incident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Well, I guess that would be that body we dug up. And yeah, frozen cadavers and body bags, that's great. There's definitely something shiny in there at me. Battery pack, lovely. That's all we came around here for, huh? What a chip. Well, we got ourselves a computer here, don't we? Oh, I forgot to log in. Her, are her boobs literally wiggling just as soon as I access the computer for no reason? 
Does anybody notice that? Like, is that the most unnecessary animation ever? I can't believe I noticed that. It's like dead or alive. So we know it's John and we know it's Ada. Pretend I can use a computer. Verified! Okay, let's unlock that one. Oh, well, let's try sell. I think that's what that clue was telling us. Hooray! It's unlocked. On B3 as well. Sadly we don't get the little animation of uh, characters' hands at the keyboard, which is one of the better ones in the original game. I always like that. So that's the B3 door and the B2 door open. Okay. Zombie. Hmm. I don't know why I had to think about that. But on the plus, he's dead. He's very dead. There's no putting that back together. I don't care who you are. Zombies. Naked zombies. You. Well, we got ourselves some flame rounds. Fill of empty beakers and test tubes. Got ourselves some slide filter. Uh, okay. X-ray photograph. The skeleton structure displayed isn't quite human. Well, let's fill the clear liquid. Probably better off not touching it. Uh, what else have we got here? We had an ammo disc that could transmit a passcode into the system. Let's do just that. Hey. Well that worked. Facts. To Sanitation Division. Attention, Manager of Sanitation. From Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the name address only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this incident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our secret security protocol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there's a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. So these bastards knew. I'll tell you what's this. Seems to be something behind the sturdy door. Open it. Yeah, why not? Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Looks like a refueling device. Well, I don't believe I've got anything to refuel right now. So let's not worry about that. Oh, 
Well, I'm definitely going to need three levers for that right now. Assuming, so let's get, let's get ourselves out of there. And there's a door unlocked upstairs, so let's take advantage of that. And up, up, up we go. And now we can get into this room. Oh, well, there's another first aid spray. Something glowing in the corner here. Which is another ammo disc. Oh, looks like I'm gonna need those to open that door. Video stored in shells. Security protocols. Level 1. Heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Basement level 1. Passage to heliport. Entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level 2. Visual data room. For use by the special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Basement level 3. Prison. Sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, or A. Wesker, you son of a bitch, must be present if viral use is authorised. Triple lock door. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers uh, deactivates the lock. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode terminal, or sorry, passcode output terminals. Use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Regarding the progress of Tyrant, after the administration of T-Virus, and it's illegible thereafter. So yeah, if you hadn't played the game before, there's been plenty of hints that Wesker's been up to no good, but that's just outright spelling it out for you. Wesker's done, gone done being a bad guy. And there's a zero Pasco terminal there. And let's see, film's been set in the place, let's see it. So we've got Umbrella's Bioorganic Weapon Official Report. MA39. Cerberus. Named after the dog of Greek legend. And of course, Neptune named after. Is that a Roman god? I don't know if that's a Greek one or if that's a Roman one. I think that might be Roman for Neptune, but somebody please correct me. We got the Hunters. Cheeky bastards. Unlikable. The Tyrant. Oh, I've definitely not seen that one yet, but everybody seems to be making reference to it. And then... Bioorganics Weapons Research Group Development Staff. So yeah, if the facts didn't spell it out, that's undeniably Wesker. The head of stars. And a barcode. But hey, didn't we get some sort of slide filter? Let's put this dopey red tinge on it. Four eight four six two. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna guess that's for this. Oh, map was easily missable there. We got a laboratory key. And 
Hey, do you just want to look at uh, Kevin's film? Or should we give it a miss? What do you think? After all, we got this videotape at the very start of the game, so... I think we should check it out. What about you? Well, I'm not really hearing any answers, so I think i got to go ahead with it anyway. Well... Well, we didn't really learn anything from that other than the fact that Kevin was a bit squinty on the old shot. Yeah, that's worked out well. Well, it looks like we've got everything of use out of this room. This first aid spray. I don't think I'm gonna take the first aid spray, however. So the question of course being, did Wesker shoot Enrico or did he have Barry do it? Would Barry really have done it? I don't think Barry's fully gone over the edge. Barry's a good man. Barry's a god among men. Yeah, well I'm going to use that key up. I definitely think Gar Barry is more god than man, anyway. Oh, and does anybody remember? Did I save? I don't remember saving, you know. I'm not liking all these rattling signs. Oh, what's the sign? Oh, I don't like this. Hmm. Precision instruments used in surgery. Operating table is covered in blood. This blood doesn't look like it came from surgery, though. And the operating table looks like it's covered in blood. And it also doesn't look like it came from the surgery. And what was the point in coming in here? Ah, there's another passage over here. My bad. Well, if you were wanting new enemies, you got them. Those horrible fly creatures. Not sure what the point in any of that was. Did I miss something there? It doesn't really feel like I missed anything in that room, does it?
should really remember more about this game. But I guess binging through the Platinum in two weeks must have slightly unhinged my mind. That's rusted shut. So perhaps I'd been in that room. There's more grenade rounds. I'm still wanting to keep a hold of all those items, you know. I think I should have adequate, adequate shotgun shots. Well, let's just do a little bit of eradication. The elevator isn't working. Looks like you'll have to operate the switch on the right hand side. Oh well. Appears to be the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch. Eh, it doesn't seem to be getting power. Right, okay. Love's all fascinating, thank you. Hey! Eat it, dick. I don't know if these guys crimson head. I'm hoping not. That would be unfortunate. So, we've got a lot of heavy hit hitting uh, weaponry here. Okay. Fuck you. You fucking run with that. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. That sounds good. A refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. We take the fuel supply capsule? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, why not? The fact that that's going to explode or shaken or jar doesn't really inspire confidence, so... Let's make sure... Oh dear. I'm thinking, you know, let's see if... Let's make sure we've got no reason to have to run. You know, this all seems to be a little dangerous to me. So, given that I have yet to see it, I think this is probably the best opportunity to do so. Now we have two choices here. Do I carry on this evening? Or are you all getting tired? This is a shameful amount of saves. I normally don't like to go over three saves when I'm beating a Resident Evil game. Although you kind of usually have to know the game before you get to that stage, huh? Yeah, if the save's successful, can we look at a different screen, please? Thank you. Let's get rid of that ink ribbon. I had another MO disc though, didn't I? I think that was the best decision to make there, to actually make a save. This was supposed to completely shut. There had to have been some purpose in that room. 
It's very rare in Resident Evil game that there'll be a room for literally no reason. So I've missed something in it. I might have been slightly shaken by the presence of those guys. Not that they're particularly tough or anything. Operating table cover. Oh, there's another sheet there that I've managed to miss. Duh. Which brings me to here. Or was that the one that I was in? Shelf full of antitoxins. Security system passcode transmission device. If you had an ammo disk, blah blah blah. Right, so do you want a little fascinating bit of information about this here? Um, in the original GameCube version of the game, these were all little GameCubes. I don't know why they had the GameCubes. It's like the way they fit little uh, GameCube into um, they put the GameCube into the remake of Metal Gear Solid: Twin Snakes. It was completely pointless, but it was there. Uh, yeah, for some reason these were little game cubes, so I guess they've had to alter them for these HD re for re releases of them. Sorry. All right, no, no, Andy, uh, take it easy. Uh, you're going to miss the ending, but uh, hopefully you'll catch the stream tomorrow. I'm sure you're not shedding it about missing the uh, ending anyway. I'm gonna put the capsule in the place. I've got a fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. So, this is where you definitely, if playing this here remake version of the game, will be wanting to switch to using the D pad. Because trying to judge when you're going to run with the analog stick is quite tricky. Whereas, I'd say we've got about 20 to 30 minutes tops left, Andy. Uh, no more than 20 minutes. Or no more than 30, but preferably only about 20. So basically, having been thorough taking out these enemies, that means that we can't get jumped, so you've got no real reason to run. I've seen speedrunners where they like just slightly tap the run button so they're only moving like a tiny bit so it doesn't count as half a fully run because you haven't taken a couple of steps and they'll repeatedly be mashing that so they can move through here quicker which is clever but a little riskier than I'd like to make myself be uh, put through again haven't taken out these fly guys don't have to worry about running in here yet. So we pop the capsule in the place, and hey! So, we got fuel to the power room, but we still need to power up the elevator. So let's do that. Yeah, we're very near the end here. I assume we want to rescue everybody, by the way, and get the happy ending, don't we? Oh, a drama queen. Pop an ammo disc in here. Okay. 
with hay. Looks like we're going to open my prison door. I can definitely hear another fly. Don't know about you. Chances of being browsed on the front side of zombie and I are very low. Bunch of assholes. Shit and maggots everywhere. It's rather unpleasant. So these creatures weren't actually, if you noticed, on the report. Unlike the snake and unlike the hunter and the other creatures. So I get the opinion these here were an accident. In the original game, uh, they get known as Chimera. But I have to assume they're made from flies. Oh! Let's not risk that. And that's lead self-destruct mechanism, but we can't activate it. So let's just get the hell out of here. At least we don't have to worry about blowing up with micro. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. I'm not entirely sure if the uh, flies respawn here or not. But I've still got plentyish rhymes here to take things on. In fact, I've got a magnum with, what, nearly 18 shots left in it? Maybe it's time to dig out the old magnum. We've only used it for a few shots, it's not really got its chance to shine, has it? Now given this is on the hardest difficulty, you can see that you've got more than enough ammo really. It's just the initial stages of the game where you think you don't have enough ammunition, but you do. As long as you don't completely miss and waste it, you've got more than enough shots. Like that's an absurd amount of shotgun shots I've got left and handgun ammo. And I've got plenty of heals too. Speaking of which, never hurts to be safe, does it? You know, I can't contain my suspense. Let's go up the elevator, shall we? The elevator is working. Well observed, Jill. Jill. Very. You could have at least waited up for me, no? Let's go. Well, now we've got Barry back. I feel safe. I didn't feel safe before, but now I feel a lot safer. Cult chums and magnum mates. Is that shotgun shells? No, I won't take your shotgun shells. Well, what's through here? Hey, it's Wesker. Wesker. The bastard. Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. 
Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family. You bastard. Oh! Son of a bitch. Umbrella. Don't you punch my jaw? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. Oh god, this better not be his family slides. Oh no, it's this. Well, you might have guessed from the slide earlier, but this is gonna be the tyrant. You know, maybe lips cover covering his gums. It's you would say he's got good teeth. You know, for the You'd sake be like, of this mm, thing. Wouldn't mind those teeth. You know, I hate goodbyes. Barry! Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! Andy, I'm sure you're glad you stuck around for the drama, if you're still there. Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry together in hell. <laughs> you want a piece of me? What? Premature. <laughs> You viral cultured freak! You viral cultured freak? What did you call- uh, Was that an insult? That's a strange one. I don't think I've ever been called that in my life, Missy. So... This is this dangerous fire weapon, the one that even Umbrella... weren't can- Oh shit, I just cornered myself, have I? Whoops! I didn't realize you could do that. Ah. This unspeakably ugly creature. That's all it's good. Oh, I see. Hey. Caution after that. That could be worse. Quite a few grenade rounds, but... Hey, I've still got a ton of ammo left. Not a lot of healing items. Well, we've released an emergency lock that I didn't know was on. Unspeakably ugly creatures. Better go check on Barry, though. What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Oh, sorry. Observation note. The discovery of the G virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the primogenitor virus. The prototype parasite, which we had delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me. Uh, the prototype parasite was incubating the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then, from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight into my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the BOW's industry. 
I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. And that's William Birkin. So hey, a shout out to Resident Evil 2. And it looks like that Albert Wesker is still in that diary entry of William Birkin's. And there's also the reference to, of course, the T-Virus, and the progenitor virus that's mentioned there is actually the ones in Resident Evil Zero. But what about Barry? Barry! Barry. You better be alright. You're okay. Uh, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. What the hell? First, let's just get out of here. Well, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. This isn't really the nicest place we've ever been. And you know, it's not a Resident Evil game, unless there is some sort of countdown and you have to escape usually from some sort of lab. Perhaps taken to the most ridiculous extreme in Resident Evil Nemesis when it was in fact a nuclear missile coming to nuke the city. And you were also escaping from a lab at the same time. But yeah. Raccoon City got nuked at the end of that one. Uh, there's an exploding lab in Code Veronica. There's an exploding lab in... Um, Resident Evil Zero? Actually, yeah, it is exploding, or is it the creature that explodes behind you and that? It's honestly been a while, and that also involves, uh, you know, playing it. Did I just run the wrong way? Where am I going? Sorry, I've kind of forgotten what I was doing for a second there, so you're gonna have to excuse me. Residence Alter Laboratory. Where am I? I'm here. Okay, that's that rusty room. So I could go get rid of some items, but there's going to be some items up the stairs here, so I should be fine. Barry and Jill together in hell. That was kind of ridiculous. I think I'll give it a pass though. That's good kind of ridiculous. Oh, one well, of those fly bastards. Wait. Oh, it's gonna make me manually do every one of these? That's kind of irritating. Well, through the door we'll go. Let's hope that Chris is being held down here. After all, we've got to see the bastard. The lock's released. Let's hope it's not just a, some like lab worker. Jill, Chris, you're okay. Glad to see you are too. Anything on Wesker? We'll talk later. First, let's get going. So what are we to assume with Resident Evil, uh, the original and this here? Do we assume that on either person's playthrough, the other member that we rescue just like gets, what, digged in the back of the head or something? Oh, what's this? Talking shells. Eh. I like the fact that this is done like CCTV footage, that one. That's kind of a nice touch. But, uh, yeah, I guess Wesker just like is like, oh yeah, Jill or Chris, whoever you're playing three hours, you go check out that gunshot, and then as soon as you go through the door, he's sort of like, Chris or Jill, uh, 
you need to tie your shoelaces and they go to like tie the shoelaces and then he butts them in the back of the head with a gun or something. Come on, let's go. Alright, you're giving the orders now after being locked up the whole time and doing nothing? Oh, I see how it is. I'm definitely not giving you one of those spare guns now, dickhead. See you in hell. Okay, healy herbs. If ever a time to need them, so I'm on this and I to hell. Oh shit! It's crimson head. Let's just let's just leave him behind. I've only seen one of the zombies open doors so far. Huh. Well, we'll exchange him for that. I think that should be herbs enough, right? And do we have ammo enough? I think we've got all the ammo we realistically need. I don't think I really need to take a shotgun with me. with you. Come on, come on, hurry! Okay. But hey, the seemingly last members of Stars Alpha Team reunited. Well, looks like we're gonna need to do something to get the attention of Brad before he goes. Can't read to him. And hey, what's this? It's a fuse unit. Guess we'll take it. And the elevator isn't receiving power. The fuse unit's missing. Well. They weren't really going to time with that puzzle, were they? <laughs> Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just hit in contact with Brad! No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Friss! Would you let me have my moments too? Alright. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Yeah, I need to save? Uh, probably should have. But I've got a pretty decent ammo selection there. In theory, I should be fine with a cult alone. And I've got three full heals. Although this is on the harder difficulty, so maybe I have been a little bit uh, arrogant. Oh, sorry about that. We got some signal rockets. Everybody loves signal rockets. See some signal rockets. Let's examine them, in fact. Ah, oh, okay. Flare rockets. I can signal Brad with this. Let's do that. Down goes Chris. Uh, Barry. Whoa, that was a lucky dodge. And it looks like he's winding up for a big attack. Thankfully. Unlike in Resident Evil 2, it's not an uh, instant kill. 
because man, that got me so many times on the hardcore difficulty in it, believe me. He's charging big one up. Oh shit, never manually reload in the battle. Jill, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! Oh, that was an ill time. Straight down the caution. Well thankfully he's been distracted by Barry. And, well, we've had enough of his shit. Can't you? You better not kill Barry there. Better not kill Barry. Oh thank god. Phew, because you can't actually have Barry or Chris get killed there. But yeah, there we go. That's our happy ending on our replay of Resident Evil Done. Ah. Like I said, the hardest part's the very start of the game when you're stuck using the pistol and you got the risk of crimson heads but essentially as soon as you get the shotgun and a couple of rounds for that which will especially the grenade launcher you're flying uh chris gets a much harder time because he only has six item spaces secondly he also um doesn't get the grenade launcher so when he gets the magnum and the shotgun so yeah it's a bit stingier for poor chris so you're going to be using your shotgun a lot. It takes him a while before he gets the shotgun that holds the assault shotgun that holds ten shots as well. So things, uh, yeah, things are significantly tougher for poor old. Oh, Sheila, what's wrong with you? you okay, do you want some snacks? It's not like you to be whining like that. But yeah. With that, our exciting adventure is finished and yeah I think we've already agreed we're gonna skip playing through this here with Chris. I could do that some other time certainly but the secret game has not worked out so well so I can't do the secret game so instead from tomorrow I'm gonna jump straight into Shenmue 2. And let's see my rather poor finishing time and rank. But isn't it a crying shame that we're not going to uh, get to see the mystery game just yet? Ah, oh, there'll be time. You did a fine job. God, that was a piss poor job. At least it doesn't give me a bad grade. But yeah. I had this down to less than two hours when I actually was going through the game for achievements. And now, play with features from the prototype version. Real survival mode locked or unlocked, so item boxes are no longer connected, meaning items can only be taken from the box where they were stored. Also, weapon aiming is manual. Experience these prototype only features unavailable in the original Resident Evil gameplay. And Jill's got a new costume. But I think I showed off all the costumes before, didn't I? So you've already seen all of those. So 
so yeah um, unless I go on to play a different game tomorrow uh, like I said I can't do the mystery game then it looks like I'll be going into Shenmue 2 as of tomorrow and thank you Luis uh, it was not difficult as I said real survival mode is a total chore by the way I'd just like to point that out You lose, big guy. And there's invisible enemies, which is just the best. There is no ghetto blaster in uh, Shenmue 2. No, you don't even get to carry over your ghetto blaster, nor do you get to carry over your Saturn games. But uh, you do get to carry over all your capsule toys. So that's one thing. And there'll be more capsule toys to buy. Although there's no trophy for it this time around. And let me see what else is there. Um... Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Well, there's different arcade games as well. There's four arcade games to play in it. It's got Afterburner as well as Outrun. And yeah, there's... There's also going to be the joy for me, the personal joy, of actually playing through Shenmue 2 with English voice acting, which I never got to do previously. And that's just going to be a pure treat, I'm sure. We all know how good the voice acting was in... Um, the first game, so to get the English voice acting there for the second when now. Luis and I first played through <laughs> Shenmue 2 uh, it was kind of right? a team effort um, when we first played through Resident Evil, or sorry Shenmue 2, it was uh, the Dreamcast version which had Japanese voice acting only but anyway, we've definitely seen as much as we're going to see here I'm not sure how to activate the mode because I have definitely unlocked it uh, where Forrest is coming after you and that if he catches you he explodes and if you shoot him he explodes but anyway uh, hopefully you've enjoyed watching it's uh, it's been nice to play through this here again um, can't believe how much of it I've, I've forgot in the past like I suppose it was nearly four years, three and a half years, but it's been enjoyable anyway. And uh, I'll come back and can do a proper playthrough of Chris's game at some point. But I, uh, I think for the time being we're done here, really. Well, the other thing I found out was that my modded 360 is actually still working, uh, which is cool. Um, for a long time there I thought that the HDMI port was going on it, but it's not, so I'm actually still able to play like uh, some amazing games on it, including the almighty OutRun 2. I love OutRun 2, it's ridiculous. Chris is always looking out for small keys. That's one of the most annoying things, like Chris actually needs more inventory space. Yet at the same time he's less. The only good thing about Chris is that um, he's always got the lighter on him, 
so technically when it comes to burning corpses you only need to be carrying the one thing around with extra fuel what you are more likely to need to do is Chris incidentally as well because well you're not always guaranteed to get a head pop with a shotgun But anyway, yeah, he's all welcome to go. Oh no, uh, I'm definitely done here. Uh, it's gonna be all about that Shen Me Too tomorrow, which is gonna be great. Uh, we're gonna be doing some arm wrestling. Uh, I wish there was a way for me just to switch the game so I could even do the intro now, but unfortunately, uh, there's no way to like hot uh, swap games whilst recording on the PS4. Yeah, the costume's really obnoxious, isn't it? It's terrible. Like Jill's other one's fairly terrible in this, except for her um uh, Nemesis tribute costume. Both the Resident Evil 5 costumes suck, because, you know, they're a Resident Evil 5 reference, which is not exactly one of the glorious moments in the franchise. Lucky head pop there. Definitely in one of these here save files though I should have unlocked the rocket launcher as well. I wonder which one that was. Not that you need it by any particular stretch. Maybe it's the orange one? Or maybe I have to get to the item chest before I can do that there. Real survival. Invisible enemy. Resident Evil. New costumes being unlocked. Hooray! Valentine. I guess I'd have to go back and check notes to see how you unlock the month of zombie mode again. It is fairly absurd though, just having Forrest running about after you, zombied up, covered in explosives. Once you escape the mansion, it never happens again, but uh, still kind of fun. <coughs> well, this definitely doesn't seem to be a save file where I've got the rocket launcher. Again, could be an inventory <coughs> slot or something. But there we go. Jalen Nemesis outfit. I think we'll be calling it a night anyway, uh, even though I said that like 20 minutes ago or whatever, but uh, yeah. We're all sure we definitely don't want to do the Chris playthrough, we want to go straight in the Resident Evil, um, or sorry not Resident Evil, and Shenmue 2 instead, right? It was definitely the consensus last night. Yeah, okay, it'll definitely be Shenmue time then tomorrow. 
Oh yeah. The slight problem that you got in the water in. I'm wondering how I've done this game knife only, by the way. Two death bites on real survival kills you anyway. So I've done this game knife only, and I've done it in real survival mode. That must have been a laugh. But yeah, Shenmue 2 tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah. Let me see. It'll probably be around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock when I start playing tomorrow. If you're interested. And that's us. Cheers for watching.